What you have in front of you is a coil I made from this copper wire. It consists of something around 2500 turns, uh, 110 turns per layer, each insulated by a layer of paper. And uh, I'm planning on using it in a high voltage transformer that would produce something like 20,000 to 21,000 volts of electrical potential. The problem with that is that I'm afraid that the paper might not be enough. So I need to insulate the coil somehow. Now there are two ways I could approach this. There is the submerge it in oil, vacuum it so that the biggest air bubbles go away and then connect it. And I don't like it because it would mean I would have to haul a jar of oil with the transformer everywhere and if the jar broke or I knocked it over it would spill the oil everywhere and it would be a mess that I don't want to clean. So I'm hoping I could use resin. The problem with the resin is that the cure time might not be long enough and the catalyst might evaporate if I put it under vacuum. So, I'm planning on uh, making an experiment that would show if using resin is feasible in this situation. Here is a shell of an old pen. Uh, and the idea is that I will fill this pen uh, around somewhere top there with resin. And then I'm going to put one drop of catalyst on top of it. If the resin will cure down to the bottom, I can be assured that even if the catalyst doesn't mix well with the resin, it should still dry eventually. Uh, which would mean that I could vacuum the air bubbles out of the transformer coil, and then add the catalyst around the uh, coil, and it would still cure pretty much everywhere. Of course, if it would just cure outside, it would still not be a problem, because I could still use it as is, and uh, it would most likely not spill if it got dropped on the floor, but I still would like to have a fully cured resin that's hard and would pretty much insulate the transformer. So, let us begin. After a tiny fight I managed to get everything inside, and now is the time for that one drop of catalyst on top of the resin and uh, no stirring at all. I'm going to leave this undisturbed for over the night and maybe next day and then we shall see what will happen. Will it solidify or will it stay liquid? So, now I have that tiny amount of catalyst in the pipette and time to form that one drop that will drop in. Okay, now that's done, let's hope for the best. Okay, now it has been around a day, and let's see what happened. Okay, so, uh, the liquid, it appears the top has solidified, but the bottom is a bit more clear, so I am not sure if it has solidified. Uh, so, just in case it's too cold in here, in the basement, I am going to put the pen in this thermos, which I have full of hot water. Not boiling, but hot enough to burn my fingers, because this thermos is sh shite. Okay, so I'm going to put the pen in and come back later to see what happened. Okay, a couple of hours later, let's see what came out of it. Hmm. Let's get it into the focus. Yes, as we can see, there are some new cavities in the top. But the bottom part seems to be liquid. So one drop can be can penetrate the or continue the reaction for something like what would I say two centimeters, which is kind of not what I was hoping for, but this could work. Second, let's test 
if we can poke it around, so if it's solid enough. I can push it with some force. As we can see, the stick went into the tiny cavity that was formed. But it seems to be solid enough. So yeah, I might go with this. I, uh, my plan will need to formulate a bit more, but yeah. It appears I was wrong. This is a day later from the previous clip. And I decided to file this pen open to see if I could get the liquids out before I throw it away. And looky looky, it's completely solid. So what I told about the plug, it was just a visual, I would say, glitch. It actually managed to solidify all the way through, which, me which means that my plan of first evacuating the whole transformer from air and then putting the catalyst in a couple of days later would actually be feasible. This makes me very happy.